Hello right, guys, got a new video for you today about some new seeds I received and just a quick glance at, at planting them and trialling them. I'm going to do 10 pots of the three new varieties I got and um, yeah, just see how they go. I've also come across a video today, halfway through making my one, from Brent from Hydroponic Gardening and More. An antifungal spray that's natural. Hey guys, I, I think this is revolutionary and um, I've had to redo my intro because I wanted to, to talk about this but I'm going to leave the link to that video in the uh, comments section and um, please go check it out if you haven't. Um, it totally suits my business because I'm doing things as organic as possible and this is, doesn't seem to be anything bad in it but I'm not going to... I'm going to make you go watch Brent's video if you haven't already about how it's made, what's in it, because it's all his, mate. And it's kudos to Brent. Good on you, mate. You've taken me to another level, I believe. But anyway, I'm trialing it out for you. <laughs> I'm not going to go all in. But, um, yeah, check it out. And, um, yeah, let's do this. Alrighty. Okay, here's a double time look at the new seeds I got. I got some mustard red giant. I get my seeds from Four Season Seeds. Um, some purple sprouting broccoli. Oh, I love the look of this stuff. Um, got 100 grams of Mizuna mix. I find that more colourful than just a one off Mizuna, like red on its own. Um, our new one, Korean red mustard. I'm going to show you some pictures of it in a second. Um, some Japanese red shiso. Oh, I can't wait to grow this one. It looks gorgeous. And lastly, some Komatsuna. Hope I pronounce that properly. But uh, that's like a Japanese mustard spinach. Uh, my customers are loving it spicy. So I'm just showing you quickly. I've got my tray ready for planting. Got some vermiculite. Got my new antifungal spray mixed up to trial. And my watering can. Komatsuna, an Asian mustard spinach uh, in taste reminiscent of cabbage and mustard blended together. Ooh, yum. Here's some full grown red shiso, very reminiscent of cinnamon and aniseed flavours. Looking forward to that. Red Korean mustard, a popular Asian loose leaf green, spicy in flavour and popular in stir fries. Okay, folks, I've accidentally forget to, forgot to repress some um, record on the first three pots I planted there, but I did the Korean red um, mustard first, and now I'm planting the Komatsuna, as I showed you the sign. I've got things going in double speed here, so it doesn't drag on, be too boring. There, I'm just putting three grams of seed per pot. Um, now, vermiculite. I'm just scratching through it, I'm finding the smaller of the finer um, grains of vermiculite. Um, now I just evenly spread that over the top, tamping it down with my trusty Makona coffee lid. <laughs> Look guys, it works perfect, so why change it? Um, yeah, just brushing off the vermiculite. That one's done. Now Brent's infamous antifungal spray, just hitting the top of them. I'm gonna leave the link into the video I think I've already said that but this thing's phenomenal you know I'm gonna trial it with this tray of 10 pots of three varieties if that makes sense now next is red shiso shiso um, <clears throat> I'm putting a little bit less than three grams per pot in this one because it is a smaller seed um, probably about 2.5 grams per pot so yeah just have a look at it yourself if you're ever doing it um, you might have a different size pot. So yeah, just spreading it evenly over the top. Um, making sure each pot has got the same amount and spread all over the medium. Um, next, uh, some vermiculite. Now this is acting for me as, as a weight on top of the seeds. They're very small seeds, so this works better than putting plyboard or stacking them as, as you would do in trays. Just tamping them down again. Uh, making sure there's contact with the soil for each seed, a bit more fungal spray, anti-fungal spray, and yeah, just pump it up, get some more pressure and spray the whole lot, just a little bit, it's all a trial, spraying the lid, and cover them up and I'll take them upstairs, that's done. 
Hey guys, just showing you a punnet of red amaranth. I pulled this one out and showed you uh, on my previous video. This is day nine for it, and check it out. Like, it's it's ready to go. I'm having trouble shut this lid. And um, this is some red Russian kale. Uh, this looks it's just gorgeous. Um, now, this pot is 12, almost 13 centimetres deep, 10.5 uh, centimetres across. Um, just in comparison that growth is almost as high as the pot so you can sort of tell how high I've got it and for the red amaranth beautiful look I'm just saying this because I I can't put weight on my punnets I can't weight them down although you wouldn't with amaranth anyway all the others are just the same guys like excellent growth and with the pots the way I just showed you putting vermiculite on top it's just mimicking the wild like having some soil on top that actually stays moist uh, the vermiculite absorbs the water so yeah just um, showing you that you know although my methods have changed a little bit it's all because uh, you know learning and um, I still use plyboard on top of the pots but that's for if I don't have any vermiculite but this is just another way and um, yeah just showing you what some outcomes can be absolutely beautiful all right Hey guys, hope you enjoyed the video. This is the outro and I'm begging you just to hang in there for, for a little while just while I say something. I hope to portray my uploads as how I do, okay? I, um, I've copped a bit of flack in comments from older videos since recently, um, the last couple of weeks. I've spoke to a couple of very special YouTubers about it and they've motivated me to keep my chin up. but. I'm copping flack for how I do it because it doesn't fall under the umbrella of typical microgreen growing. Um, they're pinning me for um, not being cost effective, waste of medium, this and that. When seriously guys, it's all been accommodated for in my business plan and, and I'm not losing money, I'm actually making money. Now these people got that nasty that I replied politely but they just kept attacking me so I had to remove these comments. It was in the earlier videos guys. I, there's no point, you know, telling you where and when and who it was. I'm not like that. I just wanted to say these videos that I put up are primarily growing microgreens in pots and plants the way Peppy does it. Uh, hopefully you can take something out of it and, and use it for yourself or just watch a microgreens video, you know. So, um, yeah, just wanted to get that off my chest. I've had some awesome support uh, in regards to that and... Um, I'm going to leave it at that and hopefully never have to speak of it again. So, all right, thanks for watching. Good day from Australia. I want to say get healthy, get tasty, grow your microgreens, and I'll see you on the next video. Cheers, guys.